You may have seen for some time the trouble that's going on between the Dutch government and the Dutch farmers. Apparently, at least 3,000 of the farms over there are considered to be peak polluters. And they want to do something about this because by 2030, they have to have met certain targets that have been put upon them by the European Union. So you might be saying, so what? How does this affect me? Well, the problem is, it does affect you if you're in Great Britain or other parts of Europe because they are the massive uh, exporters of this. They export and feed the world. So that's what they pride themselves on. So if they're going to get rid of uh, 3,000 farms to start with, how will that affect you? So the Dutch government's argument is that the farmers produce 45% of the country's greenhouse gases. Well, that's because there is a massive amount of farming over there. So that would make sense, wouldn't it? Uh, apparently, it's not just that. It includes ammonia and nitrogen-based uh, runoffs from fertilizers. So this might be making its way into the watercourse. Now, that is obviously a problem. And the other thing is, with such a significant amount of greenhouse gases and with the European Union going on, they're putting pressure on them to close these farmers down. And what they're going to say is that if you don't significantly change what you're doing, then um, we're going to basically have a forceful buyout. Now, they say it's going to be lucrative to start with, obviously. But the other thing is they want to shut down these farms because there's a huge amount of manure that's being made by this and this being a problem. And they say that the animals themselves give off uh, gases as well, which is a problem, and they need to reduce the carbon footprint. But here's a thought. If, say, for instance, the UK aren't producing enough meat, can we not buy their meat and then trade some of our credits, if you want, greenhouse credits, to them? Because in the past, I was led to believe that countries that didn't hit certain emissions targets literally sold off their quota of whatever it was to poor countries who'd buy it and take the hit. I don't know a great deal more about it. It was explained to me in a lot more detail before about this. But surely if we're buying their food because we're not producing it for our own reasons, can we not take a bit of their, I don't know, credit score, give them some of ours? I don't know. Can we not have some trade-off so that the EU doesn't hit them so hard? Because the fact of the matter is they're trying to close farming all around Europe. What are we going to eat? Oh, that's right, bugs. Brilliant. Now, there has been that paper that was released. I've just said about it in my last video. Well, one of my last videos. I can't remember which one that was on which. Because I'm, I'm sharing this between the three platforms. Reverend Simon Sideways, Man Up. Uh, not Man Up, sorry. I haven't done anything on that lately. Rev on Iran and the Simon Evans channel. So, this will be the fourth video of the day. However, um, <coughs> I digress. However... When they get rid of all this um, uh, farming and we're short of food, you'd be thinking to yourself, this is madness, this is stupid. No, it's not. It is part of the European uh, laws. Uh, the European Union have come up with this great idea of how to control us and what they're going to do is punish us with lack of heat and lack of food. And they said they have to become a, a dictatorship. That was their own words, written out in black and white. They have to become a dictatorship, which is normally against their ethics. But in this particular one, they can excuse themselves because it's for the greater good. That's like echoes of the past again, isn't it? It's amazing that there's a lot of people who are traditionalists, like me and many others. And the, the progressives... That means the fatalists, right? The people that want this great new utopia, which will end up being an absolute nightmare. Um, they're the ones that point the finger at us and call us the Nazis, all right? Which is literally, somebody calls you a Nazi nowadays. It's like, it's like the least insult in the world because it's been used so much, it means nothing. However, that's what they do. And they're the ones that are also say that this farming's bad and that you need to eat less meat. Brilliant. With your tofu food and all the rest of it, do you know just how much gets murdered to make sure that that vegetarian stuff that you eat comes out? Okay, well, all the animals that would have grazed on there, gone, forget it, right? Anything else, or all the little bugs and all the little insects and anything that flies around from the sky and anything else that comes anywhere near it gets murdered. There's far more death and destruction to grow your green food than there ever was out of making meat. Just a thought and something you want to bear in mind when you're being all, you know all PC and all, I, I love the world. No, you don't. You haven't got a clue what you're talking about. Go back to whatever it is you were doing before. Shut up. Never say another thing about it because you're an idiot. You haven't got a clue. But, so they take away their farming rights. Brilliant. Not brilliant. 
in fact, ridiculous. But the other thing is this. Who gives them the right to seize that farm? Because the state wants us to lose all our assets. I've done videos about this before, so I'm not going to get into that. But farmers generally don't like to reduce the size of their farm. It's been handed down to them over years, maybe sometimes hundreds of years, of hard graft, misery, blood, sweat, and toil, and tears. All of this, and they're proud. It's their life. These people generally don't even have holidays. It's a seven-day-a-week thing for these people. They, they work like utter Trojans. You can't comprehend the life of a farmer. And to say that you're going to seize this, it ain't going to go well. It isn't going to work. And just because you're sucking up to the European Union, the European Union is going to finish your country. And I don't want to see it happen. I mean, the, the Dutch people are a, a great people. And this thing that's going on over there, do you think it's going to end there? Or do you think they might then export that to other places around the European Union? I mean, we're not in it at the moment. But I'm sure that our lot will find a way of punishing its own farmers. I mean, they've been doing all sorts of stupid stuff like rewilding. Great. Then that land becomes absolutely useless. And the amount of effort that you'd have to go through to turn that back into workable land again is sometimes never worth it. But they knew this. And they're going to go over to all these different base fertilizers, etc. And then we'll get a GMO food, which, let's be honest, people like me can't cope with. Um, there are a lot of people out there that used to be able to eat stuff, natural bread and stuff like that. No problem. There's a lot of foods nowadays that people like me can't touch because the skin just goes mental or your guts go mental or whatever. I'm very limited now to um, certain stuff, like anything with the wheat, not good. I still eat it a lot of the time because there's nothing else, but it really affects me. And all this modern, we've bred it so that it can withstand winter and it can withstand rain and we can withstand everything else. It, it can also withstand my gut, which means it can't break it down and I suffer. It can also withstand all the other bits and bobs and I don't know enough about the genetic makeup of it. What I do know is the effect that it has on me and my daughter and many of the other people around me. This stuff is dangerous. That's what they want to do. Still, I suppose we're all on bugs. We don't have to worry about that then, will we? But this is why it's important. They reduce their food production. You suffer over here. That's why you need to get on board with it. Just saying. Anyway, lots of videos going out today, I dare say. Probably, I would imagine we'll get at least eight out over the... Um, eight? Six? Six? Eight? I don't know. We'll see. We'll get at least six out today over the three channels. So make sure you're subscribed to all of them. All right? I'll see you in a bit.